Hello everyone, welcome back to another game of Mario Baseball. We are still here playing with our classic team, going up against Cesarito, and uh, looking to do a lot better than the last two games. They've been so bad, and we're starting things off not great either. Giving up that leadoff single to Yoshi. I think we've given up a leadoff hit in every single game. Trying to change things up here. We went and ended up going to uh, DK Jungle. I just need to throw a strike on those steals. We're not, we're not going to get Yoshi out. We get the double play on the hit and run. Bowser making a great play. I didn't know if he would make that, be able to make that play with the, how far away that ball was from him. And then we're getting an egg here. It's not gonna be, it's not gonna be able to be caught by Greg, but uh, it is fielded by Monty there, just a single. And uh, Cesario's team kind of dangerous here at, at DK Jungle. We ended up just choosing a random stadium and um, I might have already said that. But uh, Pianta there hit a home run, monster shot when we played at Wario Palace last. And uh, Steven Shorter here at DK, so he might be looking to hit another home run this game. Got uh, same lineup that we did last time. We'll lean in, take that hit by pitch there. Bowser's a big threat here, but you can just walk him with our team. He's the only power threat. A great first pitch strike there. Wow, Monty going to get doubled off, even with the speed that he's got. Um, yeah, we, we really need to change basically every aspect of the game we just played. Our pitching was bad. Our defense, we were missing balls all over the field. Um, and we only scored two runs. Three runs. So, um, it was just a very bad game. Probably one of the worst games I've actually ever played. And so, we're looking to turn that around here with this team. As we get closer to starting the actual season, the official start date is uh, Sunday, November 6th. So obviously, I pre-record some of these videos. That's when the the season starts, and then we just have to find matches within uh, a couple weeks span with all the players in our league. So matches will happen sporadically. I'll have them all for on the, for y'all on the channel, of course. Um, but yeah, we're getting ever closer to that start date for the official start of the season and looking to get everything worked out with this team luckily that's gonna be a fly out I tried to pitch a ball there with the Pianta steal Try and get in a run down there, but instead, Cesarito made contact. I was just barely able to get that uh, ball to the edge of the plate, but he still made contact there. I was able to send it to the outfield, but we get under it, catch it. No big deal. On the other side of things, our batting, not doing so great. Made some good contact, but um, getting going right to the fielders most of the time, that's just terrible contact there. Quick game so far. Th uh, two innings played, no runs for either of us. Bowser making another one of those plays, very similar play to what he did in the first inning to double Yoshi off. Had to jump, or uh, not jump, but move back to avoid that barrel, not get hit. Seas does beat us on the base pass that time. That's nice contact. Wow, I thought we would have jammed Yoshi with that pitch. Again, Bowser with another great play. And we're going to get the double play there off the chemistry. Bowser's been showing up to play defense today. You'll love to see it. And uh, now we're looking to convert on offense here. This Daisy pitcher might be something to do with the reason why we were struggling. Not normally used to facing Daisy pitcher. Um... You just don't see Daisy get picked a lot in ranked play. Daisy is his comfort character for Cesarito. Wow. Gets struck out there all with Purple Toad. By far the worst batter on this team. Now we see... Uh, 
Yanta moving to catcher is going to eliminate that threat of a steal. All, all sorts of changes for Cesarito in the outfield here. Bad swing with Greg. A great pitch. Great pitch. Pitching from Cesarito. Those are so tough to read. We're actually going to be looking to start here. Thought he would uh, throw it inside. I just can't get a read on this Daisy pitching. So it's like the same pitch, and I'm just swinging haplessly. You lead off the next inning with Bowser. Probably going to get walked, though. Again, another ball just hit straight to Bowser. We're getting so lucky with all these balls going straight for Bowser to gobble them up. That's sliced. Yep. Oh, and it's a beautiful hit. It's going to be a double. Need to be a little bit more patient with the ball there at third base. We could have held the ball a little bit longer to see where Seas was actually going to go with his runner and then try and throw behind. Oh my gosh, I tried to jump catch it. That's something we messed up last time is the jump catch on the Noki hit. It gave me a dive for some reason. I should have had a jump. Got robbed, honestly. We gotta pitch so carefully here. Get a big swing and miss there. We get the jam contact. Bowser's gonna be so deep into the shortstop area. We get the double play that way. Tag it with Bowser. Bowser's playing such good defense. But like I was saying, he came uh, and sat inside the inside the base pass there. I was hoping he'd come out a little bit further. We're actually getting pitched to you. Wow. We're just going to sit on this inside part of the plate where he's been throwing the ball. And then if he's going to throw it inside, it's going to be a ball. Unless he hits the edge like that. And then he throws it where we were sitting. Not be striking out in a 0-0 game with Bowser. Especially a DK jungle, you just make contact and the ball's launched. Monty speed not going to be enough to beat that throw out, unfortunately. Nice contact right into the ground to Pianta. Scoreless for both of us through four, but uh, C's been putting up a lot, of, a lot more offense with the six hits to our one. There we go. We get an actual jump catch, not that dive that Mario gave us in the outfield when we tried to jump catch it last time. Bowser making another great play. He's just been all over that uh, shortstop area this whole game. And that ball's going to be sent to the outfield. Mario's going to make the play. Quick quick inning there. It's been a very quick game. Because no one's scoring. Looking to pull this ball. Keep it away from Yoshi out there in the outfield. But it does help to make contact with the ball. There we go. That's the hit we're looking for. Now we got it. Four stars with Mario. We just got to be extra careful of this at bat. See, he's been throwing that inside pitch. Oh, oh, it gets past Birdo. I was so disappointed when I saw it go right for Birdo. I should just send Mario back there. But uh, see, he's been throwing that inside pitch to Mario. So I just sat normally in the spot, uh, normally in the box, and waited for that pitch to come inside. That chem across the diamond gonna come in so clutch for Seas, but we do score the first run of the game here. We're actually gonna charge with Toad. That's still sour contact. I cannot get non-sour contact with Toad for the life of me here. With the shorter walls at DK, Toad does have a little bit of power. So it would be fun to hit a Toad home run, but I can't even find the sweet spot on the bat.
Yellow uh, Shy Guy did get a clap trap attached to him, so he might be a little bit slower out there. I mean, we gotta just pitch strikes. Yoshi, we need to. I need to be more aware that Yoshi's gonna be trying to steal on us. Another double play that Bowser's able to turn, getting Yoshi doubled off for the second time. Both of them coming on a hidden, uh, hidden runs from Caesarito. That time you saw we waited to throw the pitch. We didn't let Cease predict when that pitch was coming. We should have starred there. Oh, but it's gonna get down. We win the star chance. I just uh, came into the inning, wasn't really thinking too much. We should have been starring there with four stars. And uh, we're going to crush that ball. Is it going to be out of here? That's incredible that it's not. Bowser put such a good charge into one. We had the chemistry on base as well, and it's still not even um, not even out of here. Seize knows that a bunt is coming. I had to have to assume. Putting, putting Pianta there. We're actually going to try and aim this bunt towards the first baseline. Avoid that laser. Mont like I said, Monty Bunt, really good. It's so good at getting down on the ground. Let's see how things work out. That's exactly where we were looking to put the Bunt. Down that first baseline. Avoid the laser. We do get It's a sack Bunt because we do put it down the first baseline. It's not going to have a chance to uh, be a Bunt single there, but we'll take that in such a tight game. Oh my gosh, Madge almost puts one to the outfield. That ball was just barely within Burrow's reach. Instead of being an RBI single for Madge, it turns into a double play. That was a bad pitch. Oh my gosh, I'm having so much trouble this time, uh, this game. Not even this game, just today. Picking up the ball with Monty in the outfield. Does have a smaller hitbox than I'm used to playing out there. I actually expected a uh, bunt here. It's either a bunt or a star hit, but instead we got a normal slap, which is interesting. There's a star hit. It's going to be down, but it's going to be foul. Whew. Lucky to see that one go foul. We get the strikeout there on Noki. One down. This would be so incredible if we could strand Birdo at third base. Instead, we're going to get a double from Pianta there. Ooh, we actually might get the out here. Yeah, C sends back. Just an RBI single there. Or you have to field that ball very quickly. See Goomba sitting all the way inside on this box. We gotta try and jam him. Instead. Uh oh. Get Goomba trapped up on the base pass here. Oh my gosh. Both runners able to advance, not able to get either out there. Which is something we've been doing pretty well at this whole This whole day is uh, keeping C's from uh Getting extra bases on the base path. Madge going to make it out. Make the double play. Huge to get out of the inning. Just giving up the one run. We maintain the lead there. What an insane play for Madge. That's an incredible catch from Yoshi. We need to be hitting it to the other side of the field. And this one's going to be a catch as well. Birdo making the grab. Two outs down quickly. Pixie up to bat with a star chance. Love to keep it away from C's. It's just a lot of late movement on the pitches that I'm not reacting very well to. But our pitching, on the other hand, has been a lot better this game. Okay, we have a chem bobble in the infield, but uh, it goes right to paratroop, able to grab the ball standing on first base for the first out of the inning. We got chem. Beautiful fielding job there to get the out there. Avoid getting burnt with Bowser. And this is going to be three quick outs. We get the jam contact on Yoshi and get Mash throw it across the diamond. And we're in a spot to win this game as we head to the bottom of the eighth here. Looking to add some insurance runs. You have five stars. Tried to Falcon pop there. Gonna try for it again. Luckily, I pulled off the star at the last second. I saw that was off the plate, but... One down. Again, Yoshi with another insane play. We're putting him too close to the middle infield. Need to put him towards the edge a little bit more.
switched a bit early on that one. And Goomba with an incredible dive. Goomba should not be making that play. Dude doesn't even have any arms. He's making a diving stop like that. So we're here in the ninth, looking to try and not give up this lead. We're gonna make a catch here for the first out of the inning. This has been a complete turnaround this game. A huge swing back after last game, giving up 13 runs. Got one star here. We're trying to get it burnt for, with Birdo. He was ready for that pitch, but Bowser, like he's been doing all game, going to make that diving stop here, and we are one out away. No stars for Red Noki. Just need to get this out here. We have a star pitch to use, and we're going to use it here with Dixie. It's fouled off. That's unfortunate. Paratrooper going to make that catch, and we finally get a win here against Cesarito. A complete different, completely different game from the last two that we played. Basically, no offense. Very quick game because of how little runs are being scored. And uh, Bowser, the MVP, for getting us uh, just some runs and all the defensive plays he made. He made so many big plays on defense and really helped us to win the game there. No RBIs for Bowser, just the one hit, but uh, really came through on the defensive side of things, like I mentioned. And you all saw throughout the game, so that's the value that Purple Toad brings to the team because having the ability to play Purple Toad at home plate really uh, at catcher really allows us to move Bowser to the uh, to that position in shortstop and make some great plays. No other player on the team has that ability to play the middle infield as good as Bowser does. So that's why picking up Purple Toad so late in the draft, and as I mentioned, he was the last pick on my team uh, during the draft. I hope you saw that, and um, he, he just. Uh, allows us to ship that whole defense around and uh, really strengthens our entire team. So that's going to do it for us here. Thank you everyone for watching. Uh, stay tuned for more Mario Baseball content coming soon.